Good evening, everyone. We're here at Stone Mountain, Georgia, home of Jake the Snake Roberts and Netherworld Haunted Attractions. But we're not here for either of those today. Instead, we're here at Stone Mountain Park for Christmas, AKA Snow Mountain. There's a lot to do here. All attractions pass. And Snow Mountain has regular snow tubes and galactic snow tubing. And these are the attractions. Sing along Christmas train and also Rudolph. All right, I'm gonna walk in. Lots of lights. You know, at the risk of sounding cliche, it's like a winter wonderland. Even the dinosaurs are in the spirit. We made it through Christmas Tree Light Gateway. Now we're going over to Snow Mountain to do a little snow tubing. Snow Mountain entrance. Are you scared? No. Look at that hill. That guy is booking. So if you get a family tube, you don't have to bring it to the top, but if you have a single tube, you do have to bring it to the top. But they have these moving walkways. They have these single tube chutes, and then they have that giant family chute. Oh, look at that snow go. It's a snow eruption. We're at the top of the lift area for snow tubing. That Christmas tree all the way up top there is actually on top of the mountain. You normally have the Skylift car that takes you all the way up top there during the day. It's closed at night. So you have single tubes on one side, family tubes on the other side. The family tubes actually just look like water park tubes. This looks insane. Of course, there's a lot of bumps. That was awesome, dude. We flew. You can't use your camera on the ride, and they pretty much hawk you the whole way. So we did not use the camera on the ride. But we can show you what it looks like when folks are coming down. Our tube, by the way, the family tube, came all the way to the end here. No doubt because of the weight included in the tube. <laughs> Badass. This is the way we look. Mary is terrified. Going back up the mountain. That is a steep drop on the family tubes. Are you scared? Please do not walk no. on the Here comes Mary. Oh, she went across the lanes. What happened? What happened? You're like a bowling ball going out of the thing. We're going back up the hill again. I really wish we could film like going down, but I'm pretty sure the camera would fly out of my hands. It is a pretty bumpy road. It is a lot of fun. If I brought a strap for the GoPro, we would be in business, but I brought a pole. Mary was just saying, compared to the slides that they have at ICE, this is nothing like it. It is a million times better and a lot longer. I feel like I'm back in New York. There's the tree. There's the mountain. That's the tube. POV. Holy cow. They have an open snow area just beyond where the slides are. You can see in the distance some kids have made a snowman over there. Not too shabby. All right, we're done with snow tubing. We're gonna check out the rest of Christmas at Stone Mountain. So pretty. We've got a sweet shop. We've got fireworks and snowfall celebration in front of Marketplace. 
Oh, look at that tree. It's got some Christmas carolers too. Yeah, caroling. Santa! Santa! I know him! Oh my god! Santa! I need to tell them what I want. They have a 4D Polar Express experience. Rudolph and Clarice! How you guys doing? Looking at each other, looking at her, looking at us. Merry Christmas guys! Compared to SeaWorld and the line for Rudolph and Clarice, this is it. But by the way, their line is right next to Barbecue. Rudolph, uh, <laughs> look at how pretty it is here. I hear the train. That is so nice. Campfire Grill has s'mores. Big Christmas store. And this is the exit. Mrs. Claus is over here. She's telling frosted fables and mistletales. Think of the biggest box that you've ever had to wrap and then think about it 10 times bigger. I mean, this was a really, really, really big box. Yes, I still don't know to this day, do not know what was in it. They have glass blowing in here. Glory hole is the reheating oven. They have all the materials. They do it live here. But there's so many things that happen at the same time that you gotta choose what you wanna see. We wanna be able to get on the train while this is taking place. But they do have all of these glass balls that were blown here. They have a couple of shows here too, like this is the littlest Christmas tree. And over here is a Christmas carol. They've got like an LED tree over here. Take that, Universal Studios. Actually, it looks really nice. The Love Heart Christmas proudly presents a Christmas Carol! Go squad! Go! My name is Jet to begin with. Yes, this is the truth. There's absolutely no doubt about it whatsoever. The register is burial was signed by the clerk, the clergyman, the undertaker, and the chief mourner. Yes, there is no doubt Old Marley was dead at the doornail. Humbug. Once upon a time, on all the good days of the year, on Christmas Eve, he was going to have a office in the county house. 21. I'll be soon. 23. Hello, it's 24. 25. Uh, Glass Bob Crockett. Touch it, please. Whatever, you made me lose count. What the devil do you want? Well, I, I hate to bother you, madam, but I was oh. wondering if I could possibly get an extra piece of coal for the fire. Uh, you see, mine has gone out, and I have this horrible recurring nightmare about freezing to death for counting. <laughs> 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 no, it's totally true. Articulate wind. Scrooge! <laughs> oh! oh. I know that laugh. What could it possibly be? Oh, take the Molly. Where's the Molly Pop food? It's a game car. Are those chains plastic? They are. They are. The chains are forged in life. Do they look weird to you? Why are you talking like that? Because I'm warning you. You will forge your own chains in life, and you've got much longer to do so. I don't see any chains. Of course you don't. The metaphorical chains, but they bind. Believe me, they bind. Aww. We're gonna head over to the railroad. We're going on a train. Oh, this is a really big train. We're on the single Christmas train. Oh, this video has been all over the place. 
yep. very choppy. We're trying to hit as much as we can in as short a period of time as we can. Yep. And there's so many things happening at the same time. Then I'm freezing. And it is very cold out for <laughs> our warm Floridian blood. Just under 40 degrees with a little bit of wind kicking up. While we're waiting on the train, folks are playing mini golf off to the side here. All lit up Christmas theme. And away we go. The slightest bit of breeze here is absolutely going through my body. Here comes all the copyrighted music. Right behind these trees is a gigantic drop from the top of that mountain. Yes. The train stops and we watch a show. Hi. Yes. Well, hello everyone. How, how are you feeling tonight? Chilling. Pretty cold. Good. Well, um, welcome to Pebble Ridge. So, I want to know, what are some of your favorite things about the holiday season? Food, presents. Okay. Maybe some, from some people on the train? Love <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Candy canes. Lots of things. Dude, that guy, that guy said love making. <laughs> He's had a little bit but of eggnog. Yeah. You see, a long time ago, in a faraway place, there was a hillside. And on this hillside, there were some sheep. It was a cold, dark night. Very much like tonight. The heavens opened, and the sky was filled with a host of angels. And the angels were singing. Gloria and hallelujah, and their sounds filled the sky with beautiful music. In the town of Bethlehem, a baby's being born, and he will be the savior of the world. And they looked in every hotel and inn for the baby Jesus, but they couldn't find him anywhere. So finally, one of them spotted a stable nearby, and slowly they each walked over and peeked in. And there he was, the baby Jesus. It was about that time that the three wise men showed up. Now, these were powerful men, men who were used to having other people bow down to them. But when they saw the baby Jesus, do you know what they did? They fell to their knees. They gave gifts to the baby Jesus, just like we give gifts today. So do you know why we give gifts around this time of year? It's to remember that night when God gave us the gift of his only son. And when that baby grew up, he became a man and offered us the gift of eternal life. Merry Christmas! And I hope that maybe next year you can join us at our gifts exchange. If you need an idea for a gift, you can always share the story. It's a good one. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. Well, 
Well, it's the end of the night. Santa's house has a gate on it. You know, elf crime. It's big this time of year. Back to really pretty light area. But everything is closed down. My hands are so cold. <laughs> so cold. So cold. Well, that's gonna do it for us for now. Thanks a lot for coming along with us. I wish I could share some of this coldness with you. A really fun event. I don't know if it's uh, worth the price or what it is, but the snow tubing was a lot of fun. Yeah. We're gonna sign off for now. So thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, your comments, and your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. See you guys. Oh yeah, before we sign off, the reason why Jess wasn't here is because she had to work today. So 